Ciao and welcome to Let's Cook Italiano. Today we're cooking with sausages. Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Martina and this video took me a long time to film. Well, it didn't really take me a long time to film, but it just took a long time from the last video to this video because I got a new job and I got really, really busy and because YouTube is not my job, I had to take some time off YouTube. But first of all, I am so thrilled and humbled to have reached over 10,000 subscribers. This channel has been going for only a few months and so getting this kind of response so quickly like really touched my heart and I'm really really thankful to all of you for following me and watching my videos and commenting and sharing your recipes with me and I, I'm just so happy so thank you very much. Today's video is really kindly sponsored by Salsicciamo, a company that makes Italian sausages in the UK. When they approached me for this collaboration, I was over the moon because I've been buying Salsicciamo sausages for quite some time because they're absolutely delicious. I will tell you more about Salsicciamo later in the video. They sent me four different types of Italian sausages and so I thought, hmm, I do like a challenge. Why not try and make British recipes that call for sausage, but instead of using British sausage, I would use Italian sausages. For this video, I picked three different recipes where the sausage is the queen. First of all, toad in a hole. It's a very traditional, very delicious dish that is basically a giant Yorkshire pudding with sausages in it and what's not to like about that. The second dish is sausage roll, which comes in different forms and different shapes and different flavors. So I put my own spin to sausage roll, which is something that I normally make with British sausage, I would say pretty often. The third recipe is a favorite of mine, and that's a scotch egg, which to me is just a genius idea. I mean, an egg wrapped in sausage, deep fried. That's perfection, right? The recipes I'll share with you today have not been passed down to me by family members or anything like that. The recipes I found online and I will link them below in the description box. But of course, instead of using traditional Cumberland or Lincolnshire sausages, I used three different kinds of Italian sausages. I chose the classic sausage for the toad in a hole, the Sicilian sausage for the sausage roll and the Tuscan sausage for the scotch egg. Like many other dishes, sausages are prepared differently in each region in Italy and so you will find different flavour combinations as you travel from north to south, east to west. And because these are traditional British recipes, I thought, why not have a British person taste them? Right, so let's get cooking now. Add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to a roasting tin and place the sausages in it. Bake for about 15 minutes in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius until the sausages are nice and brown on all sides. Whilst the sausages are cooking, prepare the batter. Add salt to the flour and mix and then add the eggs and finally the milk. The batter should be the same consistency of double cream. Transfer to a jug so it's easier to pour and if you see any lumps, just use an immersion blender to make the batter smooth. Take the sausages out of the oven and quickly pour the batter over them. Add a few sprigs of rosemary and bake for 25 to 30 minutes until the sides have puffed up and the batter is golden brown. In the meantime, prepare your gravy by peeling and slicing an onion. Melt a tablespoon of butter on medium-low heat, add the sliced onion, season with salt and pepper and let it soften for about 10 minutes.
add a splash of Worcester sauce, a teaspoon of whole grain mustard and a tablespoon of brown sugar and mix well. Add a tablespoon of flour and let it cook for a couple of minutes. Add the wine gradually by mixing continuously and let it cook until it reduces to about half of the volume. Take the toad in the hole out of the oven and served with the gravy and some boiled vegetables. So because this is a traditionally British recipe, I thought who's better than a British man to try and test this recipe. So here I have John, my other half. Hello. So what do you have in front of you? Uh, well, traditionally in uh, the British would say toad in the hole. We would use chipolatas. Yeah. Uh, maybe Cumberlands, mm. uh, depending on your your taste. The batter would reminds me of like a uh, Yorkshire pudding. I love that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to trying the Italian uh, salsiccia. I look forward to it. And we have, um, what's this? That's an onion and red wine gravy. Okay. I know you don't like gravy so much. Well, I so don't you... normally have a gravy. I'm not so keen on uh, gravy, but I will try it. Tuck in. I'll tuck in, yeah. I'll take some of the, the corner of the batter. And I think I'll get the sausicha. This is a particular sausicha. It's, it's the classic Italian sausage with just salt and pepper. It's very similar, like the size to the chipolatas. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> that's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Just like tasting the, um, the the sausage with the batter it's very complimentary yeah, and it goes really well and there's uh, seasoning rosemary on this as well yeah yeah it's really nice absolutely okay so i wanted to try it with without the the gravy and i shall try it with a little bit of of the gravy it's on the thick side Ooh. wow that's uh, a lot No, it's very nice. The smell, the aroma, as soon as the strong whiff of the, of the red wine. So nice, the balance with the onion and, and the sausage. Uh, I'm just gonna carry on eating with, with the gravy. Have I converted you to gravy then? Mm, I wouldn't say so, but this particular one. So what score would you give this out of 10? Are you asking in comparison to a British toad in a hole? On its Sticking own on. and in comparison. On its own, I'd have to give it an eight. I don't like to give the top scores for everything. It's like very tasty and I, I do love it. I'd say eight and a half. I'd say eight and a half because now I'm getting like that aftertaste and uh, I want a little bit of the red wine. Cheers. Chin chin. Mm. chin chin. Comparing to the British Toad in the Hole, I'd give British Toad in the Hole a, a seven and a half on the basis of the taste of the chipolata compared to the normal salsiccia. Uh, it's got to me already, the red. I do my, just prefer the this style, actually. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Now no I problem. have to have a taste. You have a taste of this one. Yes. Oh, you just want to... <laughs> that's um... my food. I know, that's more... I mean, that, it's um... your channel, so I'm allowing you to do this. Mmm. Mm -mm. It's nice. Oh, it is nice, yeah. First what what score it. would you give it? Your time no, I'd give test. it this an 8 as well. An 8? Yeah. I mean, there's always room for improvement. So I prefer right? it to you then? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Before we move on to the next recipe, I would just like to talk to you about Salsicciamo, today's sponsor. 
Sassi Chamo is an award-winning company that delivers authentic artisanal Italian sausages in the UK, made by Italians in the traditional Italian way using fresh British pork. Their range includes six types of sausage, each belonging to a different regional tradition, available as wheels, traditional sausages, or as sausage mints. They also offer delicious meatballs and burger patties. All ingredients are meticulously selected to guarantee the highest quality and all the sausages are naturally gluten-free and made using natural casings. You can order directly from their website where they offer mix and match taste boxes or you can purchase single products from delicatezza.co.uk with delivery available across the UK. Thanks again to the Salsi Chamo team for sponsoring this video. I hope you will try their sausages because I'm sure you will love them. Dice and gently fry half an onion with some olive oil, salt and pepper. Remove the sausage meat from its casing or use sausage mince and place it in a bowl. Add the parma ham, cut up into small pieces, a teaspoon of whole grain mustard and a cooked onion and mix well with your hands until everything is combined. Cut the puff pastry sheet into six equal squares. Divide the sausage mixture into six and place a bit onto each square, making sure to place it towards one side and leaving a centimetre or so on each side. Fold the puff pastry onto the sausage mix and press the edges with your fingers. Then use a fork to secure. Pierce the top with a fork, then apply some egg wash onto each sausage roll and bake it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes or until golden brown. Looks really nice, the golden brown puffy. Hopefully it's filled with a lot of sausage. Yeah. This is the Sicilian sausage. Should I cut it open? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Mm, okay. Did you see it? Mmm. Mmm. That's very nice. There's mustard in this. There's, um, there's the whole grain. Yep. I can see the whole grains inside, so it's nice. And the filling's really nice, the, the filling inside. Is it different from the one I usually make with the British sausage? Um, yeah, I forgot about the comparison between the two because I was, well, it's delicious. I would say that the Sicilian sausage, it works really well in a puff pastry wrap. Comparing the two, it's really, mm, I'll have to try it again. <laughs> Might be creamy up. Um, sometimes you have like maybe a slightly processed sausage that's in some time and well I don't normally like to eat them one but um, the sausage is sort of like chewy and this one's very creamy and so it's, it's really nice to eat yeah. There's a ham in it which I'm not too sure. Yeah I put is. some parma ham in that. Ah. Yeah normally when I make it with English sausage I also add some bacon Mm. I think that adds to the flavour, but this time going full Italian with some parma ham. And um, the mustard's really nice. Can I have a little bite? Yes, but not this one. Uh -huh. Not this one. Why not? Come on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> mm. Don't like it. Not at no. all. I see what you mean by creamy. It's like meatier. Score out of 10? A score? I would have to say an eight and a half again. <laughs> <laughs> For the same reasons. I mean, the the Italian sausage does give a certain spice, a certain kick. And what score would you give the ones I normally make with traditional English sausage? The ones you make, I would have to say that I think I prefer the British sausage, but maybe that's just because you put the bacon in. It's not much in it, but I would probably 
steer towards the British sausage in the sausage roll, but only with the bacon and the mustard. So, sausage by itself, maybe Italian sausage. Boil two eggs for seven and a half minutes. Cool and peel them, then roll them in flour. Remove the casing from the sausage or use sausage meat and using some cling film, spread the sausage meat in a circle as thin as you can. Place the egg in the middle and wrap the sausage around the egg. Roll into the flour, the egg and the breadcrumbs and then give it a second coating with egg and breadcrumbs. Heat up some vegetable oil in a deep pan and fry for about eight minutes, making sure to turn the scotch egg around so that it cooks evenly. Remove from the oil when it's golden brown all around. Okay, what do you have in front of you? the scotch egg. I have to pass on this I'm afraid. I'm not the biggest fan of eggs in general. The scotch egg like I used to eat as a kid but for some reason it was one of those tastes that as I grew up I, I, I'm a bit... no no. Would you just cut it in half and show oh, the cross section for the camera? <gasps> I mean it looks appetizing. Ooh, it looks very good. appetizing. All the colours are there. Lovely. Right, I'm gonna have it then. Move. <laughs> right, I'm gonna tuck in because this looks super, super nice. Very meaty. The York is still a bit creamy, which I like in a scotch egg. And sometimes when you buy it from the shop, it's completely hard and fully cooked. And because I did a double coating of the breadcrumbs, it looks super crunchy, so. Mm. Yeah. This is the stuff. I'm never gonna buy scotch eggs from the shop ever again. I think what the Italian sausage adds to it is a lot of moisture compared to the English sausage, but also it's more flavorful. It has a hint of garlic in there, very, very slight hints, and it's saltier, and I do like salty foods. So this is definitely up my alley, a lot more than the store-bought scotch eggs. And it doesn't take long at all to make, so that's a win-win. Oh. So what score would you give the scotch egg? Mm. I'm gonna give this a nine. I think there's still something that I could do to make it absolute perfection. But to a store bought, I would probably give a six. So I'd say this is a big improvement. I've never made scotch egg with British sausage. The only scotch eggs I've had were either from a shop or a local deli. And of course the shop bought ones, they're pre-made, they've been sitting in the fridge for a long time. So they tend to be hard and chewy and not very meaty. The ones from the local cafes are really, really nice, but I do prefer Italian sausage to British sausage. <laughs> Thank you.
And here we go. These were my British recipes made with Italian sausages. I would say that all in all, it went pretty well. It shows that recipes can be adapted and can be just as delicious as the traditional ones when you tweak the ingredients a little bit. I think that all in all, I would always prefer Italian sausages just because I'm used to the taste that they have. I'm used to the fact that they tend to be meatier and the grain tends to be a bit more bitty and less pasty than British sausage. But I do like British sausages as well, especially in sausage rolls or scotch egg or toad in a hole. And I will definitely continue to make these recipes with British sausage as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just consider clicking on that button down below to support this channel. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.